now, coming to you live from the math department, how to solving a system of equations on the TI-84. Hi guys, today we're going to look at two things here, how to solve a linear system of equations on the graphing calculator and how to solve a non-linear system. First thing we're going to do is get up into our y equals menu and enter the equations for our two linear equations. First equation is going to be y is equal to 2x plus 7 and the second equation is y equals negative 3 quarters x minus 2. Of course I could have typed 0.75 instead of 3 quarters and just want to check my window settings uh, they're a little bit crazy so let's just go to a standard setup and graph this there we go so we can see clearly there is one point where these two lines intersect here's the way that we do it we go into calculate second trace and the fifth item down is intersect so five calculator asks us for the first curve it means which equation you can see right now y1 is highlighted here that's good and y2 is the second curve that's the other equation that I want for the intersection it asks me for a guess on linear equations this is irrelevant just hit enter and it gives me the intersection point as negative 3.27 repeating comma 0.45 repeating if we had a third linear equation in here, let's say we had y is equal to uh, 6x minus 5, and we wanted this intersection point right here between the second and third equations. Then when you go into the intersect settings and it asks for first curve, we don't want y1 as the first curve, so now you use the down arrow. The down arrow always switches between the equations. The left and right arrows move the cursor to the left or to the right along that equation. But pressing down will not move your cursor up and down. It just switches it over to another line. For instance, if I press down right now, I'd be back at y1, uh, y2, y3. That's the one we want the intersection with. And the guess. 0.4 comma negative 2.3 repeating. Super. Now let's get an intersection for two non-linear equations and we're going to keep these ones fairly simple. We'll have our first equation be y equals x squared and our second equation is going to be, let's go something trigonometric here, let's go y equals sine x. And if I graph this just as it is right now that's really not a very good set of uh, axes for this. Let's change our zoom window to number 7 trig since we have a trig function. And there goes our sine wave. Where's my quadratic equation? Oh, we are in degrees mode. Ha ha. Radians. Try this again. Zoom trig. All right. So it looks like there's two points of intersection in this little region right here. Maybe I want to be able to see that a little bit more closely. So I'll show you another little trick here with the zoom menu. The very first item here called Z box. This allows me to basically click and drag a region that I want to have highlighted. I'm going to move my cursor over to here, press enter. And now when I start moving my cursor again, you can see there's a line and some points connected to it. I'm making a little box around which I want to contain what I'm going to zoom in on. So everything in that box is now going to zoom to fill the screen. There we go. I can see those two intersection points quite clearly. Just like before, we go calculate, intersect, first curve, second curve is y2. Guess is now important because the calculator needs to know, do I want this intersection point on the right or this one on the left? 
Let's go to the left. I like doing things in order. Enter. And not surprisingly, the intersection point is 0, 0. To get the second point of intersection, we go into here, again, intersect, first curve, second curve. Something you can do here for your guess, rather than scrolling to the right, if you know roughly what this number is for this x value, um, I think it's around 0 0.8. I'm just going to type 0 0.8 as my guess and send the calculator off there. Look at that. It's 0 0.8767 and 0.76. So it's like with tracing where you can tell it which x value to use. Uh, you can also do that for your guess. Well, that's it for today's hot tips on how to solve systems of equations by graphing. Until next time, pencil sharp. I'll see you. Let's